Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about endothermic and exothermic process. So let us start our experiment and let us learn what is endothermic process and what is exothermic process. Now to perform this experiment, what exactly we need? We need two plastic bottles. We are taking two plastic bottle. We are taking a measuring cylinder in which we need 100 ml of water. After this, I am going to take potassium nitrate i am taking sodium hydroxide so i have taken sodium hydroxide and potassium nitrates to measure the temperature we are going to use a thermometer now let us begin with our experiment this is exactly 100 ml of water i am going to pour this in one of the plastic bottle so i have poured it now what i am going to do is i am going to measure the temperature of the water now if i am going to keep a thermometer in it it will take some time to measure the temperature now so what i see the temperature of the water is around 27 degree celsius now what i am going to do is i am going to add 5 g of potassium nitrate into my water so what i am going to see is potassium nitrate liya isko 5 g measure karna hai so let me measure 5 g of potassium nitrate i am going to measure it on this instrument so i am going to measure 5 g of potassium nitrate so i am going to take 5 g of potassium nitrate now i am going to put this 5 g of potassium nitrate in this bottle If I'm going to measure the temperature, I'm going to hold it for some time, mostly one minute. Now, if I'm going to see the temperature, the temperature is around 18 degrees Celsius. Initially, the temperature was around 27 degrees Celsius, and here the temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Means the type of reaction is your endothermic reaction. Now, let us learn about exothermic reaction. Okay, so we have taken 100 ml of water. I am going to pour this water in another bottle. That is our plastic bottle. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to take five gram of sodium hydroxide. So, taking five gram of sodium hydroxide. So, for this, I am going to use a spatula. So, here we have taken approximately five gram of sodium hydroxide. The five gram of sodium hydroxide in water. If I'm putting it now again, I'm going to shake it. If I'm going to shake it, what can I see? This is becoming very hot. If this is becoming very hot. What does this mean? That reaction is an exothermic reaction. Let me measure the temperature. Hold it for approximately one minute. now after 1 minute i will measure the temperature now the temperature seems to be increased i can say the reaction is an exothermic reaction 